we're going to talk a lot about uh, driving quality, driving morale, improving safety, and reducing costs. How do we do that? How do we engage staff? Because as you all know, the only way to drive quality, the only way to improve patient experience is to change the behaviour of our staff, our colleagues, at, at every level of the organisation. Their behaviour will only change with attitude. So what can we do to change the attitude and the behaviour of incredibly busy staff who feel under lots of pressure, who've got sort of another new initiative coming at them every single day, on top of which pretty much every time they read the newspapers or turn the television on, they read that the NHS is going to have less money, there's more problems. Our staff, our colleagues are beleaguered and under pressure, and yet we're telling them they've got to improve. They've got to get more efficient, they've got to get safer. Um, one of the things we've looked at is done some research amongst doctors about the power of getting feedback. The first bit of research was done with doctors. Uh, we're now going to expand that and do it with all, all clinicians, uh, all clinical groups. But what does it mean to actually understand the difference you make to the lives of your patients? And can that be part of the journey of transformation, the journey of driving quality, the journey of improving safety? So we looked at and, and surveyed um, a number of clinicians who've been getting continuous feedback from patients for a number of years now. So these put, weren't people early into it. These people have really gone through the journey. Um, and how does getting feedback continuously affect your attitudes, your behaviour, your communication skills? Um, and just immediately before we get on that, just, I just always have to put this sort of slide on here. Does patient experience matter? Does patient experience actually matter? People often say, typically not in great organisations, in average organisations, well, patient experience isn't important. What's important is our financial performance, because that's what Monitor or CQC are looking at us for. Or patient safety is the only thing that matters, because we've got a real trouble with that. Patient experience, until recently, has really been sidelined. And it's really interesting to see how now patient-centred outcomes, patient experience, patient reported outcome measures are coming more and more to the fore, not just in the NHS, but in health systems across the world. Um, and it's largely because what we all know in our, in our hearts is actually being borne out by the evidence. This is just one of many studies, and this was a, an overview, a, a review of over 51 studies conducted by Professor Bell and his team at Imperial, where they actually they looked at clinical outcomes, they looked at safety, they looked at financial performance, and they compared it to the experience that patients reported. And for any of you who, uh, who believe in this stuff and go back to your organisation and the finance director or similar says, well, it's, patient experience isn't really important, this is probably quite a good paper to, to have in, in your arsenal. Um, clinicians should resist sidelining patient experience measures as too subjective, divorced from the real clinical work. Uh, the weight of evidence says patients can be used as partners to identify and change performance. So, what do doctors think, though? Because, like it or, or, uh, or not, our clinical colleagues uh, have a, a quite a sway. Perhaps some would say too much of a sway. On the other hand, when you get your clinicians on board with patient, driving up patient experience, organisational change can happen very quickly. So, from these clinicians who've been getting continuous feedback, 72% learn from the, from the feedback. Um, Interestingly, what did you like? What's especially useful about getting feedback? The biggest single segment there is it improves my morale. Wow, we've got something that will improve morale of clinicians in today's NHS. How do we dig into this? How do we make it work? Would you recommend collecting feedback to other doctors? Well, 90%. There's only one other thing that 90% um, of doctors will recommend, and that's Volvos and skiing holidays. <laughs> so there's obviously something quite important here. Clinicians will recommend this to their colleagues. Um, and overall, collecting feedback from your patients, the majority say it's better than they thought it would be. You will see this in all sorts of clinicians. They're a bit worried, what will this do? Actually, it's better than they thought. It drives morale. Um, and 100%, for those who, at the back who can't quite see that, it's in, in a large font, 100% uh, of respondents said the majority of feedback they get is positive. And again, it's not a surprise. You know that in your organisations. The vast majority of people you care for get a very, very good experience. We need to capture that. Harness that because it can transform your organisation. I look forward to a really engaging day, great speakers and great discussion, and thank you again for coming.